What's up and welcome to another YouTube video. My name is Eddie and I am still addicted to Marvel Snap and it's time to look at another character's set of variants and rank them from worst to best. Today everybody we are looking at Black Panther. Now if you guys have a character in mind that you want me to check out their variants make sure to comment down below what character I should look at next. There's a bunch of characters that keep getting added to the game. More variants keep getting added to the game so this is always a fun time to talk about. If you guys like talking Marvel Snap variants make sure to like and subscribe to the channel here and like this video because it helps me know what I should be doing in my videos next. Now let's jump right into it. Today we're talking about Black Panther. Black Panther is a 5 energy, 4 power card, and on reveal, he doubles the power of the card. Black Panther was one of the seasons, I think he was the November season pass card. Um, so probably a lot of you guys, if you had already been playing at the time, will already own him. But I think right now he's down, yeah, he's a series 4 card as you guys can see here. So if you guys are lucky, he could be a 1 in 40 cash that your collector's reserve that you can get. Or I'm sure he should be dropping a series 3 any minute now. So hopefully a lot of you guys have him and enjoy having him because he is a lot of fun to play with. Now, as always, we're going to scroll down here. Of course, the pixels there. We're going to click on every single... Oh, wow. He Oh, wow. He has a lot of variants. There we go. We've got all the variants clicked on. And we're going to look at each one, one at a time. We're going to talk about what we like and dislike about each card. And then we're going to rank them from worst to best. Now, he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight variants. That's not bad. The first one over here is the pixel one. I got to say... This isn't a bad one. This is not a bad pixel variant. I don't think I've ever seen this in the game, so I'm curious to know. Oh, it is in the game. Okay, it, it, this is a 700 gold one. Um, It's not bad. I, I actually like the Black Panther here in the forest on top of the tree branch and all that. I We've seen a lot of pixel ones that are really, really bad, and you guys know this. I would say this is not one of them. This is a pretty good one. Is it as good as the rest? I don't actually know. I wouldn't... I don't know if I'm going to rank this high or not, but... Just speaking pixel-wise, this is a good one. Next up, oh my god, this is a good one. Joshua Kassara. This is badass, everybody. This is a 12... Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, I can't swear on the YouTube. This is a 1200... Uh, <laughs> 1200 gold variant. You can see that really broke me. What a great variant. But 1200 is a lot of gold for a variant. But, I mean, uh, they're still good. So good. my Him with the double spear here, standing on the edge over here. The background's kind of bland. Not much going on here with just like, uh, is that a, it looks like a waterfall, I guess. But um, it's, it's man, this, the pose is so good. I'd be curious to know what would be animated when you upgrade this card to see like, is it the waterfall in the background? Like what, what is it that becomes animated with this card? Because it seems like a very good static card. Next up, we got the baby one. Now, surprisingly, I not surprisingly, I actually got this one as my mystery variant last month. If you guys remember, they did like the Mystique bundle, and then the same day they had that more magic bundle. I got this one for free, and that bundle well, for free <laughs> with the bundle, so I spent gold on it. Um, I love this one actually. I I've talked about it in the past that I think chibis are my favorite, and babies are probably my second favorite sets. And this Black Panther one is really cool, really good. Again, the background's a little bit bland. And now that I've seen all the uh, the other two, and uh, really quickly a glance of the Black Panther ones, I think Black Panther just in general has a lot of good variants. So even though, generally speaking, baby variants are at the top for me, this one might not be as high just because I know how good the other ones are. But again, fantastic, fantastic one. I think the baby one really stands out. Next up, Dan Hip, man. Dan Hip, as always, killing it now. Dan Hip, I I, I love you. <laughs> if you're watching this, I know you're probably not, but if you are, I love your variants, man. Very cool. I like this one a lot. I love the way he drew the Black Panther. Again, background's kind of bland, just him jumping out of the bushes here. Um, but th the way he draws Dan Hip really makes his character stand out. Next up, this is Max. There we go. Max Greek, uh, Greek is here. We talked about him in literally my last video. So if you guys wanted to see what I have to say about all of Max's variants, please make sure to go back and check out that video. How much gold is this one? So Dan Hip is 700 and so is this one. I think I prefer this one over Dan Hips just because of the detail and how cool he looks. Plus, the background has a little bit more going on. I love him standing on the Panther sto statue right over here as well. Very, very good. Man, Black Panther, man, has a lot of good ones. Ken Lashley over here. I don't think I've ever seen this one. This must be unreleased. Let me double check. Yeah, this one's unreleased. Fantastic. Wow, this is this is badass as well, guys. The Black Panther all in, all in flame. There must be a lore reason behind this. So if you guys know 
what the comic book lore behind this variant is, please make sure to comment below. I love... Everyone always corrects me in my videos and tells me about the lore of the characters. And it, I really do enjoy finding out. So please let me know what the heck is this. Because <laughs> this is so cool. But I want to know more about it. Next up, we got the Season Pass one. This is from Ryan Kennard and Eduardo Mello. Uh, this is so good. This is him. I, I forget the name of this scene, but it is from the movies. It, it's about him becoming Black Panther, I guess. Um, love this. I love that. I think this is the only one that he's not wearing the mask. Am I correct in thinking that? Yes. Um, not wearing the mask. Very cool. Makes him a little bit more human. But um, I do like it. The pose is kind of bland, him just standing there. But I think with just the, the idea behind this picture or this variant is really cool. Um, this one is a season pass exclusive. So if you were there for the season pass uh, in November, you got pro hopefully you purchased it and you got it. If not, uh, you did miss your chance on this one. So a really good one. I do like this one, but it is unfortunate that not necessarily everyone can get it if you're new to the game or late to the game, I guess is the right word. Next, uh, last one is the ultimate one. Now, I, I I do like this one. I really do. This was from the Hero, the Martin Garrix video. So if you guys haven't gone back and watched it, this is their Hero variant. This is an ultimate variant. So I got to be honest, I don't care how much I like it. I refuse to buy a variant for 5,000 tokens. Um, so the fact that this is a 5,000 token cr a variant kind of disappoints me if this was a basic card like so i want to try and rank them not based on how much they're worth like the 1200 700 and everything but i do kind of still want to do that because the idea behind these videos are which variants should you go out and get or which ones would would i go out and get i guess is the best way like when i say worst to best it's not necessarily just what they look like but it's like would i purchase them or would i not purchase them so unfortunately for this card as cool as it is and i do like the art style I can't rank it high because it, it is 5,000 tokens, and that for me is just not a reasonable price for a variant. Same idea as like those 1,200s. So, those are all of the variants over here. Black Panther himself, also, I, I gotta say, the base card, also very, very cool. If you guys just have the base card of Black Panther, I think you're you're fine. Like, his variants are really good, but he, his base card is, is something else too. Alrighty, how do I rank them? This is actually... Man, there's a lot of good ones here. So I think I want to just do this real quickly. Uh, I always do this live, so I apologize. This part is kind of always not as interesting for people to watch, I think. But um, let me double check here and make sure. Yeah, I'm going to go these two there. Which one is it? No, that one's going to be higher. What's going on, PC? There you go. <laughs> the, the PC is struggling a little bit there, guys. Uh, we're going to put that one there. We are going to put... That one there. Actually, no. I'm going to put this one here. Here. Ooh, actually. That one's going to go like there, I think. Yeah, okay. There we go. We got it, everybody. Here we go. So, my least favorite. That's where we're going by favorite, right? Where's the best? Least favorite. Number eight is the ultimate one right over here. Simple reason. It's the cost. 5,000 tokens. Just not worth it, especially for the... There are some, I will admit, like I could... Bit of a spoiler for White Queen. Her ultimate variant is, would be higher up at, because her ultimate variant is actually worth it, in my opinion. But this one, as cool as it is, it's not worth 5,000 tokens. There are other ones that, in my opinion, are better than this one. So, it's my least favorite. My number seven is the Pixel one. Again, I'd say from here on, I still would not love... I would not go out of my way to purchase this one, but I wouldn't be sad to own this one. So... I would be upset if I spent tokens on this one. I would be upset if I spent gold on the Pixel one, but I wouldn't be upset to get that one. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Number six is Dan Hip. This is just to show you that if Dan Hip, and I said it at the start, I like this one a lot. If Dan Hip is number six, that just goes to show you how much these variants are actually really good. I really like Black Panther's set here. So number six is Dan Hip. Very great card. The background's a bit bland, so that's really the only reason I'm taking a bit of points away and just the other ones are a little bit better than it. Number five is the season pass one. Now, the season pass one is really cool. I do love the idea behind it, but again, just a bland static pose here. He's just standing still, not really doing anything, but he does have the heroic pose here with the, the guy in the background, hand on the shoulder, showing us that he they are they are following him as their, their leader. So really cool picture uh, variant. Why do I keep saying picture? Variant. Really like this one. Number four is the baby one. 
Love the baby one here. It stands out as being unique and different from everything else because obviously it's a baby variant. Man, I wish they had a chibi version of Black Panther. Such a good one. Again, the background's kind of bland, but when you see this one animated, it does stand out a little bit more because I you can't really see it on the card here, but like the, the tree branch or whatever he's standing on here, it does, there's a bit more color and vibe, like it's a bit more vibrant when you actually see it in the game compared to this website right now. Oh, speaking of this website, some people always ask, this is snap.fan. This is the website that I use. My number three is Max. So good. Look at the art style, the design of the card, and there's enough there in the background to stand out with the, the, the panther statue, the rocks and stones, and the water, I guess, in the background there. Very cool here. Love the pose for this Black Panther. Absolutely killing the game here with Max Rec, as always. My number two is this one. I... I was going to put this number one. I was really going to put this one number one. However, the 1,200 gold dropped it to number two. So good. Such a good one here. The The background, again, is a bit bland, but I've kind of said that about all of them. They're, they're all kind of just okay with their background. Some cards have, like, insane backgrounds. Um, but the pose here with the double spear, just so good. And he looks different. I talked about the fact that I really like variants that take a card and drastically change it from everything else. This one makes him kind of look like a bit like more of a villain than a hero. And I like that because it's a big change as to what he normally looks like if you look at all the other cards. Which means my number one is the unreleased one by Ken Lashley here for exactly what I just said, making a character stand out by being completely different from everything else. Now, if this comes out and it's an ultimate variant and it's 5,000 token, I would drop this in the, in the ranking. 1,200 tokens, 700 tokens, it's perfectly fine as my number one. Please don't make this an ultimate. Please don't make this an ultimate variant. Keep it at 700 or keep it at 1,200, and we have a winner right over here, guys. This is fantastic. The Flaming Black Panther right over here uh, with... I, I don't know what this background is, but I'm, I feel like there's a lore to it, but so cool. And I can imagine here the, the animated version of him with all the flames on fire just animated oh man it this is gonna look so good when it releases in the game so that's my ranking everybody let me know in the comments how do you rank them what's your favorite least favorite of all the black panthers you can go eight to one or just tell me which one is your favorite whatever you prefer let me know what's the next character i should do and make sure to go back and watch my old video we've done magneto we've done uh kang the conqueror we've done, we just did thanos we actually did one about max greek and only his variant so if you guys want me to take a character or a style of variants and just rank those we could do that too like chibis or um flaviano or anything like that and as always make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more marvel snap variant content and make sure to come join us on twitch where we play marvel snap three to four times a day uh, a week depending on the week all righty guys have a good rest of your day take care bye bye